Welcome back, welcome back. This is still why in the morning. And on to our first conversation. We are going to talk about matters entrepreneurship, particularly youth in entrepreneurship. And for that, we are joined by one Dion uh, Wandera, who is a CEO of his own company. It's called Dion Brands. Dion Wandera Brands, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karibu sana, I'm glad to have you with us. All right, uh, tell us a little bit about um, you as an entrepreneur, what you do. Okay, first and foremost, I, I really want to thank you for, having, for giving me an opportunity to be here with you. Uh -huh. uh, okay, Dion Wandera brand, I need to give the initial statement on why this brand was created. This brand was created to give youth a platform where they can showcase mm -hmm. their talents and their skills. It's not just about talents, but also it's an organization that uh, compile also of charity work. We have done various of programs, uh, such as assisting the less fortunate people in the society, mm -hmm. and also giving youth a, a decent living by giving, by giving them a chance to monetize what they have, the talents that they have. We all know that uh, talents, when they are not showcased at the right platform and the right people, they will remain talent and be dormant. Mm -hmm. So we gave the youths a, a chance the other day in Kakamega County in April to mm -hmm. showcase what they had. And uh, <coughs> for real, we were able to, in the scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. by 3%, we were able to reduce uh, drug abuse by 3% and also to pro and also provide uh, temporary employment by 2.5%. Okay, yeah. interesting. That's quite something. So re you reduce drug abuse by 3 you said 3%? Yeah. 3%. And create employment temporary employment yeah, by 2.5%. 2.5%. Yeah. Wow. How 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 have you uh, reduced drug abuse through that? Okay. Now uh, in April, uh, mm -hmm. that's uh, when the students were in on holiday. So we were able to give students a, a platform and also youths at large, a platform to interact and mm -hmm. also to prevent them from indulging into negative vices such as drugs. So we were able to reduce drug abuse by then. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about the employment bit, the 2.5%? Okay. Uh, in the entire Kakamega County and Western at large, we all know that uh, the initial companies that were there, the industry are now all stalled. Mm -hmm. So. The economy revolves around uh, teachers and uh, farmers. So the small-scale business enterprises were able to boom up via our tournament. Uh. They mm. were ready to, they were also given a chance to access ready market uh -huh. yeah, by then. Okay, so that's the employment bit, at yeah. least during that time of uh, the tournament, some sort of a employment was created exactly. during that duration. Exactly. Okay, amazing. Now, tell us, what inspired you to be an entrepreneur at a young age yourself? Okay, we all know that uh, with the current uh, economic adversity, with the current uh, education system, mm -hmm. the education system that we have today in Kenya is a system where we are being taken through a system that does not uh, give us education that align with the problems that we are facing currently. Mm -hmm. So we are we are taken through a system that uh, does not match with the problems that we face, with the economic problems that we face. And uh, mm -hmm. so I decided that I will not just sit like my parents and my great parents and just watch the the way things are. So I decided that I will I will not is a problem that, uh, which is unemployment to come up with a solution and the solution is through program that I've been able to create and this program is also helping me to monetize uh, the talents not only just for me but also to impact the lives of those people that uh, I purport to represent. Okay, so what are those two programs? I know it's that we have the talent. The talent, mm -hmm. cervical cancer. I have also done PADS drive. Sorry, but come again. Pads driver. Pads? Pad. Pad. Oh, pad driver. Yeah, pads uh -huh, driver. Ah, okay. I've done that. Mm. But so far, pads drive is becoming so expensive with the current economic situation where people can hardly afford their, a decent meal. Mm. So, priorities people will prioritize uh, going for a meal than acquiring a pad. So, I've I, 
have brought uh, a partner on board, an mm -hmm. Indian partner who will teach the students eh, how to make up pads. I think that will be cost initiative, will okay. be a little bit cheaper. Oh, all right. Yeah. So this is interesting. Um, you, you go all the way, you know, for you, your entrepreneurship, what you're doing is more on to others and to helping the Ex youth exactly, and to helping exactly. it's charity. It's like a charity work. Yeah. yeah. Why? Uh, <coughs> uh, first, because, uh, l l let me say this, that the job sector today yeah, mm -hmm. is saturated. But it's just through church work that where networks, networking, people mm -hmm. can network and also connections can be acquired. So I took a chance by giving youths eh, mm -hmm. a chance uh, on creating a platform where they can network, not just about charity, but they can also network with various partners that I'm, br I'm bringing on board. Okay. Yeah, through that they can create also an employment by being absorbed to various corporate firms. Oh, yeah. amazing. Uh, what challenges are you facing as a brand, yeah. Okay, as a brand, the first challenge that I faced was when I invited uh, the people who are revered in these uh, programs. Eh? Mm -hmm. Most people, the senior people, the people we look up to, they prefer attending high elite meetings compared to the youth-based programs like ours because mm -hmm. I was at the initial stage. Okay. Yeah. So and how is it now? Are they now attending yeah. like the Kakamega so tournament that you had? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. they are attending. Um, more partners are coming to, s to also support me. Many partners are coming to join and also to channel their support towards this brand. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just only based in Kakamega. This is a countrywide uh, brand, but mm -hmm. uh, as always, charity begins at home. Yeah, I was so, almost asking yeah. you why Kakamega. Yeah, exactly. All right, so now you're seeing more, uh, you know, a a more present government in terms of county government, are you getting the support in that you need government. now? Exactly. Yeah. I'm okay. getting the support because I'm working hand in hand with the CEC for youth, sports and gender. All right. In Kakamega County. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did you how did you get to this place? Someone might ask, and you have a history being a, a, a leader, leader yeah, yeah, yeah. in a cooperative university. So you might want to tell us a little bit about that. For someone who's in the same line as you or mm -hmm. wants to do the same thing as you, mm -hmm. how do you get to build such connections and to make sure that your dream progresses? Okay, it, uh, it depends with the goal that you want to pursue first. Number two, it's just a matter of... Uh, identifying the goal that you want mm -hmm. and what you want to achieve. That's the thing. Uh, number three, it needs consistency and perseverance. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's not all about money. Money mm -hmm. aside, you must uh, chase the end goal. And the end goal is to also to, to be known. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Pukwa, it's not about all about money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Some people might not agree with you because what I'm going to say, hey, so how, how do you get to survive in these like, tough economic times? Okay, so I've said that uh, I'm bringing on more partners. More partners, it's, it's just like a charity work. More mm -hmm. NGOs, I write proposal, I present to them. Some of them, they acknowledge my proposal and they give me an okay to work with me. Okay, yeah. so for you it's all about passion. That's why it's exactly. not about money. Yeah. And uh, wh what did it take? I'm still, I'm still on a question. Mm -hmm. What kind of sacrifice does it take for you to? Did it take for you to get to where you are? Uh, example in proposal writing. Do you have yeah, to exactly. learn that yeah. leadership? Is it something that you were born with, or something that you have learned over time as you get into it? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> to do with leadership, it's just about trial. Mm -hmm. Number two, leadership, uh, to do with uh, leadership, uh, mm -hmm. okay, it's, it's just about uh, the passion that I had and also the significance uh, <coughs> errors that I noticed and I had to, you know, every, every, every economic, uh, 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 let me say, uh, every revolution, uh, Mm -hmm. is uh, is carried out or is be, is laid out by a leader by one person who by one person who who represents himself mm -hmm. to champion for changes so 
I took that initiative uh, also at the cooperative university when uh, when the fee increment was there and also when the hostel were mm -hmm. the price of hostel shoot up it went to 12000 mm -hmm. so it it's just a matter of passion and the courage that you have and also the willingness the political willingness or the willingness that you have to mm -hmm. represent your people okay Amazing. Now, back to you talking to us about youth entrepreneurship. Okay. What, what, okay, is it, is it something that you'd want, you'd advise youths to get into entrepreneurship? Why and how can they do that? Okay, entrepreneurship, uh, obvious, uh, entrepreneurship with the, I, I, I said earlier that with the current economic adversity does not, uh, mm -hmm. the job sector, the white collar job is very saturated. Yeah. Now it, it, uh, it, uh, it requires someone to go overboard, uh, to, think, uh, to think widely, to think something that he, he or she can do mm -hmm. to have a living. So you, you must use what you have to get what you want. Okay. Yeah. What do you, what is it that they have that they can use to get what they want? They have the energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have the, the speed and they have the willingness to do that. Okay. It's just a matter of uh, wanting to, to, to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it comes from me then, how bad do you actually want this? Yeah, exactly. So if you really want it and you have a passion for it, then you go for it. It doesn't matter if what if it's money that you don't have. Exactly. As long as you have the drive, right? Yeah, yeah. And what is the importance of mentorship then in uh, promoting youth and entrepreneurship? Okay. Um, the importance of mentorship. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, those people who have been revered in that sector, mm -hmm. All, uh, it also goes to leadership. It's just about leadership. As you inspire, you need to be told or you need to be guided the steps to follow for you to occupy the ladder of leadership. Same to entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. You'll need guidance. You'll need to be given uh, mentorship for mm -hmm. you to be where you want to be. So mentorship is, uh, is uh, fundamental in, when it comes to entrepreneurship. You need to be guided. You need to be told uh, the risks that are involved you need to be told that also the, that it's not a win-win uh, situation. Mm -hmm. You can lose and you can win. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's, it's very fundamental when it comes to entrepreneurship and it's also, it's, it's just a basic. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's a risk that you need to be willing to take yeah, yeah, getting yeah. to it. Exactly. And what skills are essential for a young entrepreneur to have? First, uh, a young entrepreneur, mm -hmm. one, he must be a risk taker. Mm -hmm. You need to be a risk taker. Number two, you must have that willingness and also ad adaptability to adapt very fast to adapt in a situation, mm -hmm. in a new environment, in a new situation. Uh, number three, you need to be resilient. Yeah. Number four, you need to be outgoing because uh, you need to chase what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Just a matter of listening and having it. Okay. In being outgoing, there are some people who are naturally introverted, mm -hmm. but they have a passion for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. They have a business in mind. How do they, how do they go about it? It will depend with your team. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because me as also the Onwandera brand, we have a very committed team uh -huh. that works with me. So it will depend with your team. Okay. Yeah. Speaking, speaking of your team, how did you how do you choose people to work with? Because now this is a, something that you're, it's a baby, it's like a small baby exactly, that you're just exactly, giving birth exactly. to. And it, it's a risky uh, place to be in. It's a risky investment to get into. So how do you choose people that will help you propel your vision forward? Okay. We have people, first, when I started this brand, I started mm -hmm. as an individual. Uh, also, I had one, two, three connections. So I was able to convince people, some of the people, the willing people, to come on board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was able to convince people to come on board. Uh, it depended with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it depended with the willingness of a person mm -hmm. and the passion and the goal of a person. So people were. 
let me say what, kuna watu walikuwa na vision about this brand where they wanted to be where they where they see it in 10 or 5 years to come yeah mm -hmm. so so far i have six partners one partner works at kenya school of government another partner works at the county government and also some partners that are in corporate firms okay they saw my vision they aligned their interest with mine and that's how my brand started wow yeah. amazing what about those people who usually say that um, when you're starting your own company or something that you need to do it alone first without involving people because now they might come and dilute what you had envisioned for your for your own company okay also me for the beginning I would really like to I I I was thinking to start alone huh? I thought of think of starting alone this uh, brand but due to financial muscle even when you have a good financial muscle you can start as a lone ranger so it depend with the what kind of product you want to engage in what kind of business you want to engage in mm -hmm. and uh, what services are you offering mine I'm offering a wide service that needs a collective initiative yeah. of many people mm -hmm. so I needed to reach to outreach many people for me okay. to deliver all right, it yeah. makes a lot of sense. Okay, so um, and what are the we, we've talked about challenges? What are the advantages mm -hmm. of being a young entrepreneur, especially in Kenya? One the advantage number one, you get vast of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, many people will want to associate you with you. By the way, mm -hmm. they really want to give you a platform. They really like to invest in you. Number two you learn a lot by the time you unafika 40 utakuwa na experience kutosha mm -hmm. yeah you you have ti i mean also time yeah, yeah. is what you have and exactly which is very and also to correct the mistakes uh-huh yeah. okay wonderful is there something that uh looking back from mm. where you started that you're really proud of yeah Tell yeah, us yeah about exactly it. Mm -hmm. uh one one thing that i'm proud of is that uh, i'm a ceo at the young age, I'm only 23 years. Mm, look at that. Secondly, mm -hmm. I was able to impact the lives of more than 3,000 youths in Kakamega County. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave them a chance. I gave them a chance to monetize their talents and they were able to emancipate themselves, at least to earn a living on that day. Mm -hmm. Number three, I was also able to, <coughs> to showcase, eh? you know, mm -hmm. talents and I said earlier that talents and skills when they are not showcased the right platform and the right people, they cannot grow. Yeah. So I gave them a chance to showcase it to the right people. And uh, many people were, <coughs> were mm -hmm. taken by some teams, some, in, some teams, the, 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 county, the county teams, they mm -hmm. took some of the players yeah, to nurture their skills. Okay. Exactly. Wow. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> wow. And there are some pictures that we want to show uh, of the football tournament that took place. I don't know if the producer is ready with the pictures, but we might come back to them later. Uh, Dion, what mm -hmm. is the vision that you have for uh, Dion Wandera brand? Where do you see yourself going? I see myself being uh, going international. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see myself uh, impacting more lives and creating more job opportunities mm -hmm. to the younger generation. I see mm -hmm. myself uh, motivating more young people. Mm -hmm. to st it's not about. Uh, it's not particularly about the Onwandera brand. I also w I also would really wish to have more brands coming up, mushrooming of more brands that will have an impact on the lives of young people, mm -hmm. more vulnerable people in the society. Wow, yeah. because it's for you, it's mostly to the people. Exactly, exactly. And what keeps you staying focused and motivated? Because sometimes you need motivation. I, I believe that the, with the challenges, you need yeah. to stay motivated. My team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your team? Yeah. How? I have a very committed team. Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I, I do programs back to back, as in uh, consistently. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, they always remind me that, uh, hey, mm -hmm. Kiongozi, you have a program to uh, in April, you have a program in August, you have a program in December. Mm -hmm. So I have to be consistent. They mm -hmm. keep me on toes. They tell me, Kiongozi, we need to 
go to this partner, this partner, this partner. Mm -hmm. So you'll remain 24-7 focused. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's quite quite the team to, to, to have around you. Exactly. And then we have the pictures of the football tournament, so just so that you believe that it actually happened and it was a success. Uh, there we have it in Kakamega County. You want to tell us who, who uh, are there people that we need to know? Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, all right. They're just coaches. Oh, okay, okay. So we can see the next one. Aha, uh -huh, it looks like it was a good event. Yeah. So this event, you said, uh, helped reduce drug abuse by 3% 3%. and create uh, temporary employment by 2.5%. Such an amazing work done by a young CEO at 23 years of age. I am challenged or motivated. <laughs> so that's you? Yeah, 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 that's me. Uh, addressing the people after the event. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Getting back to you again now, what do you think should be uh, given to young entrepreneurs such as you as support by people that are in position, people that okay. can help? Is it networking opportunities? Is it the funding? What type of uh, help do young entrepreneurs really need? Okay, first, uh, we live in a consumer uh, economy. Mm -hmm. We don't produce anything. In fact, we even import, uh, we even import uh, toothpicks, tissue paper. Most things. So, yeah, mm -hmm. most of the things we import. Mm -hmm. uh, until we do, we, we do away with the importation mm -hmm. of things, then we, uh, the, the, the only support that we can get from the government is by the government producing or providing incentives to the young manufacturing sector mm -hmm. that will also motivate other people like us, mm -hmm. who are coming up with programs in form of manufacturing to okay. impact the lives of people and also to create more employment opportunities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and what advice would you give to a young entrepreneur who's just getting into the business and entrepreneurship? That uh, faster, it's mm -hmm. not easy. That's the truth. It is not easy. Mm -hmm. It needs a uh, commitment, mm -hmm. it needs vision, and it needs patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for you to be there. Okay. Before I'm I, not yet there, by the way. You're not, yeah, yeah. You, you're just growing yeah, exactly. into it. All right. Uh, but it's worthwhile yeah, yeah, so yeah. far? Yeah. Okay, before I ask you the last question, um, there's this question. Uh, how, how do you balance, how, did you, uh, or how do you create a balance mm -hmm. between being a CEO at a very young age mm -hmm. and uh, life as it's moving, you know, being okay, a youth, there's okay, so many okay, things okay. that you'd want to do. But being a CEO in, uh, requires you to have almost maximum attention in your in Okay, your most of the time I'm preoccupied with my company. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything. I don't have an alternative, by the way. I'm done with school, so I don't have any busy schedule. Mm -hmm. I don't have an alternative or an engagement okay. that I need to do apart from my brand. So most of the time, 24-7, I'm, I'm always working on my brand, always figuring out what can I do next to make this brand stand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when did you start? I started this brand 2020. 2020 uh, when you were still COVID, in yeah. school? Yeah, during COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I started uh, by distribution of masks and uh, also taps. What about taps? Uh, so you are supposed to wash your hands uh, and all okay, those okay. So, so, such uh, things. And then uh, our people were so broke that uh, they didn't even afford a mask. Mm -hmm. So I had to talk with uh, some NGOs. Mm -hmm. we, ne we, we had to partnership with some NGOs to make it uh, happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think is the future of entrepreneurship in Kenya and what impact does it have on the economy? Okay. Uh, so far, as the things stand, I don't see any future, by the way. You don't see any yeah. future? Yeah, unless uh, we, we do away with importation of certain things that can be produced in this country. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, but we've seen, the pr uh, according to the finance bill, there are things that mm -hmm. will stop t to be imported, mm -hmm. uh, probably taking effect either yeah. end of the year or next year, I'm not sure when. Mm -hmm. But so you're saying with that, we will have a better chance 
Yeah, it's, we'll have a better chance, but also we mm -hmm. need to slow down when it comes to taxes because uh, most of the manufacturing sectors mm -hmm. and manufacturing uh, industries in this in this country of ours, mm -hmm. uh, they stole due to high taxes. You see, the profit that you make is uh, all taxed, mm -hmm. so nothing to be proud of. Okay. Making nothing to be proud of. All right, so yeah. the government should look into that. Yeah, I think it has looked into that. But uh, let's see, maybe, let's, let's see how it will materialize okay. in the next year. Okay. All right. So, Dion, before we close it up, what, what is the lesson that you have learned that you, again, you know, pass it on to someone else through your, your own journey? You, you can say to your camera, this is your camera, and uh, give us your social media handles. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the lesson that I have learned so far, uh, through this uh, journey of uh, entrepreneurship and this journey of uh, programs is to be patient, not to push so hard, uh, not to force anything, to be patient and uh, to wait uh, <coughs> until things unfold themselves. Mm. Do, your, do your best patiently and wait for the results. Wow. Yeah. What, what a way to end it. Do your best patiently and wait for the results. Exactly. Thank you very much, Dion. Santi. For coming on board. That is Dion Wandera, who's the CEO of Dion Wandera Brands, talking to us about his journey in entrepreneurship, basically youth in entrepreneurship. I hope you've taken something from that particular conversation. We are going to take a short break, and then Brad Sakwa will be back with yet another interesting conversation. The hashtag to use is one in the morning at Y254 channel. See you on the other side.